So it's a rolled up thin strip of gold and it was found by a metal detectorist in fields at Little Beddoe. And there are, are some of these that uh, have been found before and immediately people thought that this was a decommissioned is the term but basically it's, it, it was a diadem uh, an, uh, something to be worn around the neck or the head and when the user of it or the wearer of it no longer needed it perhaps they had died or something like that it was deliberately rolled up and buried in the ground, uh, perhaps as an offering to the gods, because the user no longer needed it. And the question then is, is what is its age? What was it doing there? And it's a very, very fine gold, something like 95% pure gold. And we've had it analysed, and the chances are that it actually comes from uh, mainland Spain, Spain, Portugal, it's called Iberia. And that is really good news because that makes it probably around 2500 BC, so four and a half thousand years ago. Uh, and it's part of what's called the Beaker culture, which came from Spain. So it was people coming uh, with the idea, uh, with new, a new culture. Um, they um, used pottery beakers, which were nicely decorated with impressed cord marks and things like that. Um, they still used flint um, for arrowheads, um, but they also knew how to make gold and then copper uh, metal objects. Um, and so this would be one of the first pieces of gold to have been found, uh, to have made its way to Essex. Um, later on, uh, the, the idea of this culture spread through Europe uh, and um, eventually people in Britain living here uh, were making their own uh, using Cornish gold uh, and that would have been a date of about 500 years um, later on. But the fact that this gold has been identified as coming from Spain makes it in that first wave of you know, the Beaker people um, with their new culture, their new ideas coming from Spain. When unravelled, if I can put it down, um, we've had a replica made of it. Um, it's about 50 centimetres long, it would have been, when unravelled, um, which either goes around a very small head, um, possibly even a child, uh, or you know, a, a young person, um, or uh, it could have gone around the neck, possibly. Uh, we've called it a diadem, um, and that is how uh, one of the Spanish uh, archaeologists um, has interpreted it uh, and there's a, an, an image of, of, a, of a beaker man wearing one um, which we're using at the, at the museum in the displays. Um, but you know, it's not to say that uh, it didn't go you know, somewhere else on the body like around the neck for instance, as a, like a talk. Um, but you know, there's very few of these around uh, and metal would have been really magical to people who were used to dull old stone. Um, you know, it, it, it was the shine of gold and later the shine of copper. When we excavate copper and bronze, it's, it's inevitably green when we find it. But originally, as a, as a new metal, it would have been the colour of gold. And that would have been really magical. And the people who could make that, you know, the smiths, um, would have been treated, you know, as magicians.